There's one thing that smugglers often talk about is you never get high in your own supply. But I broke that golden rule. Dad gave me the joint and I had a couple of puffs on that and I thought, well, this is something special, this stuff. All the stress started to leave my body and I thought, yeah, this is beginning to feel good. It was very hot, it was a bit smoky and I decided to go outside the door and look out the window from the other side. It'd be nice and cool. There was one guard who I saw when I entered onto the train and, and he came down the corridor. And when he approached me, he pointed to his nose. So I just put it out. Sorry about that. And he continued to walk on. I turned round and I just looked at him. He looked at me. I had a rush of panic. If he could identify the smell of cannabis, that would have been enough to attract them to search the cabin. I just had them running with the guard. What? One minute we're happily stoned, then the next minute the severity of the situation sort of hits you. We were sitting on 20 kilos of cannabis and it was very easy to find. And so we just waited in dread. It was tense and uncomfortable and a lot of paranoia running through us. Open door! I'll deal with that. I was a bit dubious, but I let Dad sort of make that choice. I let him make that call. same guard who had seen it in the corridor and my heart started to sort of palpitate a little bit. What do you want? Give me what? I know that he's just a, a train guard and so I hand him a packet of foreign cigarettes. He looked at them and pocketed them but didn't leave. And I thought to myself, well, what's going on here? What is, what is he looking for, money or what? So I reached into my pocket. I pulled out a bit of really good quality Afghan pollen hash. And it's running through my head. Well, if I hand him this over, he'll probably think this is the last of my stash. And I handed him that. That's all I got. Opium. He said, no, don't be silly, opium, no, no way is this opium. And he said, this looks like opium to me. And we said, listen, no, it's not opium. Trust us, 100% not opium. He sniffed it, put it into his pocket, and I thought, well, that's great. Now he's happy with what he's got, but didn't leave. The only thing in my mind was, how can I get rid of this guy? Do you want some cash? No, no, no. Take it. And I just looked at him and was thinking, wow, what the hell's going on here? Give me ticket. He really wanted that train ticket. There was no other option. I handed him over my ticket. And he looked at the ticket and put that in his pocket and then left 